I wrote a book some of you are aware of called Becoming a Sun. And there's a chapter in the book that talks about the cloud, the cloud hanging over humanity. There is, as ominous as it sounds, a dark cloud hanging over us as humanity. And we could live out of that dark cloud. It's a cloud of fear, cloud of separateness, a cloud of greed and hostility. It's in the energy field. That's why it's manifesting. And the same principle works with the dark cloud that works with the cloud of light, the cloud of sanctuary. The way the dark cloud gets generated is the same way. People give expression to something. They're looking at it in the practical. They want more of this. They want to keep this person over here. They want to do this. But in doing those things, they're generating the dark cloud. And then they live out of the dark cloud. They live out of the feelings that come when you're living under a dark cloud. All those feelings that, of anxiety, of something other than well-being. The feelings of danger, anxiety. And, and so this one works like the other. It feeds on itself. The dark cloud feeds more darkness in expression. And darkness and expression feeds the dark cloud. Hey, let's just keep it going, right? That works great. But that's what's happening. And it's been happening for millennia. And we can all tune into it and we could all live out of it. And we all have a choice. We all have a choice to say, yeah, I know there's plenty of things in the memory of humankind, the memory of my lifetime even the memory of my community, my culture, there are all kinds of dreadful things there. And I choose not to live out of those things. That's not my reality. I choose to relate to the cloud of light, the cloud of glory, the sanctuary. I'm going to live into that, live out of it. I'm going to express it. I'm going to be it. I'm going to bring it. Every community of people needs a mother, not somebody mothering everybody. I'm not talking about <laughs> smother, what's it, smother love? We're not talking about smother love here. No, we're talking about real care, real kindness, real encompassment. The way we all know it is supposed to be for us as human beings. Not too many people function very well without that kind of surrounding in their life. For most people, you give them enough of a negative surround, you could get some negative things out of them. It's actually a rare person who, no matter what happens, they're relating to the cloud of light. They're relating to the sanctuary. No matter what's happening on the outside, no matter what other people are doing, they know the sanctuary and they're bringing the sanctuary. They are sanctuary. They are sanctuary. Sunrise Ranch is sanctuary. Emissaries of Divine Light is sanctuary. We're that for ourselves. We're that for the world. For all of you who come, that's my goal for you, is to be sanctuary. And once we know sanctuary for ourselves, we come to sanctuary, we begin to be able to offer that ourselves. We become the sanctuary, the living sanctuary. And then the places that we are, Sunrise Ranch, this room, Rimrock Room, this becomes a sanctuary because we sanctify it by our presence. 